Turner with you live from the original Geno's Pizza and Grill here in Toledo, Ohio. Very happy to have on our bench racing hotline from the dirt track, Justin Allgaier joins us. Hey, Justin, how you doing? I'm doing great tonight, guys. How are you? Hey, do you have a long history of dirt racing? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I grew up racing dirt, and so uh, trying to get back to the roots a little bit. We were in the Midwest and and uh, lucky enough to, to be able to put a modified together, so we're, uh, we're running the UMP Dirt Modified tonight. Uh, sounds like a heck of a lot of fun. Of course, uh, Charlie and I really kind of got to know you uh, in 2008 when Charlie and I did a lot of stuff with the ARCA Racing Series and turned out to be a pretty successful year for you in that uh, series as well. And uh, it, it's been quite a while. You've had a, a great success. That, that 2008 success that you saw in ARCA got you a nationwide deal and, and have shown success in that series, got a win in the series. Where are you at right now? Well, I think three, four years into your nationwide career. Where do you think you're at? You know, um, I, I can't give you a good assessment of that because I feel like, um, you know, there, there's times that we've we've run really well. Like you said, we, we got a win in, uh, in 2010. We got a win in 2011. Um, you know, which is which is really cool for me. I I, I really am, am proud of those. Uh, but at the same time, there's weeks that that uh, you know we don't run that good. So. You know, we we got a lot of work to do still. We're we're, we're plugging away. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, week in and week out, we're we're trying to get uh, better and and do as much as possible. But uh, you know, all in all, it's it's uh, it's been good and got a lot of good uh, buzz around what we're what we're able to accomplish on a week to week basis. So uh, that always makes you feel good. Darlington last week, uh, 13th place finish. You're sitting seventh in points in the nationwide series. Talk to me about Darlington, about that particular race this last weekend. You know, last weekend was tough. We, uh, if, if something could go wrong, we pretty much had it go wrong. <laughs> we had a, an alternator go out on us. We had a tire that we, we actually chucked the tread off the right front tire. We, um, we had a, a lug nut get stuck between the caliper and the hat, and uh, we had to, had to make an unscheduled pit stop. Pretty much you name it. We, 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 we just had bad luck last weekend, and it wasn't meant to be, so... To be able to come back to finish 13th on the lead lap, that made me feel good. I was at least glad that we were we were uh, back on the lead lap. It, it put my record back in in place that we finished every every lap there that, that we've ever run. But at the same time, you know, you you always want to run better. You always want to do better. And 13th obviously wasn't uh, what we were hoping for. Justin Allgaier, is there such a thing as as moral victories, I guess, you know, it's kind of what you alluded to, you know, you're able to finish on the lead lap and everything. Yeah. I, I guess that's the question. Do, do sometimes you say, Hey, you know, this was as good as I could get this week. And you know what? Thank God for the fact that I finished 13th. Cause I could just easily have finished, you know, 23rd or 33rd. Absolutely. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm blessed to even be doing what I'm doing. And, and I look at it that way is that, you know, I, I could not be there. I could have finished worse, but, you know, the, the one way I look at it is, is you look at a guy like Jimmy Johnson, uh, his championships weren't won by the amount of victories that he had. His championships were won in the fact that on a bad day, he finished 10th and not 20th or not 30th. And, uh, you know, they, they've not quite had the, the same luck, if you will, here of late. But at the same time, you know, I think I think that's, that's the key is making the, the most of the days that, you know, you don't feel like going to the racetrack or – that uh, don't necessarily go the way that you were hoping they would. That's that's the days that, that you really go, man. You know what? Today today was a great day. And, um, you know, Darlington was was that way. I mean, obviously we didn't want to finish where we did, but but when you can when you can finish uh, a race that you should know, that that's when it uh, that's when it makes it nice. Talk to me a little bit about as we we get close to the whole road course world. Where, um... Talk to me about your road course prowess. Uh, I, I know that uh, you've spent some time on the road courses. You work hard on road courses. Do you like running on the road? You know, I actually love road course racing. Uh, I'm not really good at it, <laughs> so that makes it a little bit frustrating. But, uh, you know, I, I love running them, and, uh, you know, I, I feel like we've gotten better over the last couple of years, and, and we're making gains. So, you know, we still got a lot to do. We're actually going testing uh, – in a couple of weeks here, we're going to go to, to Virginia International Raceway and make some laps and do a little bit of testing and just get back to that shifting gears and turning right. I mean, uh, uh, it, it sounds easy, but the, the, the less you do it or the, the, 
you know, the people that do it more are the usually the better the better road racers. And so I'm trying to get myself where, you know, I, I feel like I can be competitive. And Justin, I seem to remember that uh, the first year that ARCA went to uh, New Jersey Motorsports Park, didn't you end up winning that race? We did win that race. Uh, I, I we, we had so. awesome pit strategy, and, uh, <laughs> and, and, it, and the rains came at the perfect time, and everything worked out. But, you know, I, I think part of that was the fact that, you know, you, you got a racetrack that was new to everyone, and, yeah. and uh, you had a series that was new to, to, to road racing. So I think I got a little bit lucky on that one. And that's not a, a true fair assessment, but at the same time, you know, it was cool to it was cool to be able to pick up that win. Talking about road courses, do you have a road course mentor that uh, helps you out as far as road course racing goes? Uh, right now, no, I don't. But you know, Ron Fellows was was a mentor to me whenever I started racing road road courses. He he was um, really influential in, in teaching me what what I learned and what I know. Um, you know, obviously. You, you learn from everybody. You, you're out there and you take guys and, and you, you try and learn as much as you can from each of them. But uh, for the most part, it, sometimes it's, it's, it's easier than others for sure to, to be able to learn. Talk to me about the dirt track. Is it uh, is it fast tonight? You know, so far it looks like it's going to be. We, uh, we we practice here in about 30 minutes. So, you know, I'll be interested to get on the track for the first time and see what, uh, see what it's like. But the last couple of weeks they've, They've had the track pretty heavy, I guess, from, from talking to some of the guys that race here on a weekly basis. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully we got all of our ducks in a row and we got a good dirt car tonight. So, we'll see what we can't do. Is this a car that you put together? Yeah, the, Kelly Tomsky, one of the guys that works for my dad, he, he races in the Arca Series on a, on yeah. a kind of a part-time basis. He uh, he put the car together for me at the Pierce chassis, and uh, I think we're I think we're going to be pretty good. We got a you know we got we got a good car and and. Uh, they race up here. Kelly races here on a on a pretty much a weekly basis. So, you know, we we got uh, got a lot of good equipment underneath of me. And now, if I can just remember how to go around a dirt track, uh, we'll be in good shape. <laughs> how long do you figure it's going to take you to get that all figured out? Uh, I think by the time I get the thing in high gear, we should be okay. There you go. <laughs> all right. Now, does your da- Justin? Does your dad ever uh, like chirp at you a little bit to maybe jump in that Arca car for a race or two, uh, just to, for old times' sake? All the time, all the time. <laughs> he, he's always telling me I can come back and work for him and, and race for him. So, uh, one of these days, I don't know. I might, I might be able to pull that off. But right now, I haven't been able to yet. All right, all right. Well, uh, Justin, thanks so much. It, it took us three years to finally get hooked up with you after I think the last time we had you on our our Inside Arca show. But it was well worth it. Hopefully, we'll be able to do it again. Best of luck to you. We love following your career, and uh, nobody deserves good things more than you do. Hey, thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. Great talking to you. Hopefully we don't have to wait that long the next time. All right, All right thanks. absolutely. Thanks, Justin. Justin Allgaier. Thanks, guys. Justin Allgaier, one of the really, truly nice guys in uh, in motorsports. And uh, he was very, very, very nice to us in 2008 when we were kind of stumbling along doing that uh, whole ARCA thing. And, and uh, I'll never forget it. It was terrific. Yeah, he uh, he kind of 